Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro C. Today I'm here for the beautiful and handsome collector. What up, collector? Flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. All right. So let's get into it. <laughs> channel message is you lied to me. In my dream state last night, there were two. There were uh, a set of masculine and a set of feminine energy. They were dark though, very karmic. And your past ex here worked with another ex of yours to sabotage you. Now the first ex, meaning I will say uh, X1 and then X2. So X1 is the one that's, you know, that came first. And then X2 is the one that you recently broke away from or whatever the case may be. Okay. X1 does not want you to see, does not want you to be with anyone else by any means necessary. Those are their rules. Those are their control. And you must abide by their control. They'll do anything possible to... Um, to sabotage your happiness and also your greatness. They will also use your family and friends as well too to gather people around you to also to attempt to assist and to sabotage you. Well, your ex number one was aware, could be your ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, take it how it resonates. But ex number one was aware that you were in a connection with ex number two at the time. And that really made X number one very disturbed to the point where they actually linked up behind your back with X number two to sabotage you. Well, X number two went ahead and successfully they worked together and stuff like that, da, 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 whatever the case may be, but something was off. X number two realized or more so um, saw the true intentions of X number one and is very upset at X number one because they feel X number one has completely obliterated or destroyed your connection. So X number two wants to fight X number one over you because they have not been truthful. They wasn't um, honest from the beginning. They're realizing that X number one did everything possible to throw you under the rug. And they are very upset because they felt like they missed the best thing that they have, you know, ever stumbled across the bell so it was like a ding ding <laughs> train x number one told x number two that you're into trains people run train on you all this stupid bullshit that you have many multiple partners and stuff like that also told them that you were very money hungry as well too that you were only there for their money for their large sums of money it made x number two very paranoid because they didn't know what to believe. So it put X number two down a rabbit hole. Not only a rabbit hole, it made X number two very chicken or afraid of you because they're having interactions with you. They're speaking with you. They're hanging out with you, whatever the case may be. And it's giving a very confused or confuddled mindset here because they're listening to what this X number one has been saying about you here. And they're having like many, mm, they're having some, uh, I'll say adverse reservations in regards to you if they should believe you or not. So they started to treat you like crap based on what X number one has been saying because they thought it was on point. Now, some things have started to transpire within the dream state here where X number one's life is now falling apart. Also with X number two. But what X number two is realizing is that when you move forward or you're soon to move forward from them is that your life has been enhanced in, in surmountable measures. It's just, you just leaps and bounds. Soon as you, you kind of separated yourself from that BS, you just took off with your success. And uh, X number two is seeing that and now realizing that X number one was the liar and they want to fight them. They want to, they actually want to pull harm to them. They want to pull up to them and they want to cause some kind of harm to them. Because in the dream state last night, I saw them fighting, like blows fighting. Then it, it, it went, it, it turned another way. It, there was some weapons and stuff involved and X number two beat the fuck out of X number one for lying. 
Yeah, entanglement com complications. Okay, entanglement complications here, confusion, inner tur turmoil, conflicts, restrictions, embarrass embarrassment ahead. X number two is embarrassed by X number one, not only by X number one, but they're also embarrassed by their um, their behavior towards you here. And they're trying to come back towards you to make it up to you. Uh, I'm also hearing propose as well. So X number two is trying to come back in good thoughts or good hope or good faith that you guys will work it out together. They're coming back with some form of um, ring. And I bet she's going to come out. You know, <laughs> you know how my spirit is. <laughs> They want your hand in marriage. A lot. <laughs> what is that? <coughs> <coughs> they want your hand. <laughs> Man. They want your hand in marriage and they feel like time has passed them by because they really want to truly tell you how they feel and also they want to tell you everything that has transpired here. Not only do you not only are you very aware as to all that's happening, you don't want anything to do with either X number one or X number two. And X number two is going to lose it. <laughs> X number two. <laughs> Is going to lose it <laughs> because they can't get back to you and they truly feel like it's x number one's fault they went snooping they went you know checking out things to kind of see who you were talking to and vibing with and they were able to get information here and they were able to get x number two's information and they were having conversations behind your back and they were completely wrong <clears throat> so because X number one was throwing you under the bus so much, X number two believed it and they thought that you were actually out here cheating and doing all that dumb shit or whatever like that. And you weren't doing any of that. You were completely ten toes down. You were faithful. You were very honest with the person. The person asked you a question. Hey, yes? No. You you know, you wouldn't lie or anything like that. But X number two thought you were too good to be true. <clears throat> but the motives of X number one was for you to be alone so no one will be with you to make you feel like no one wants you or anything like that and that's just not the truth um the issue with x number one is that you're very independent you're very profitable with self okay meaning your your self-worth your your confidence your self-love everything about you that makes you uniquely you um you're worth a lot that makes sense um so <clears throat> you have security self-security self-wealth um, and de dedicating time to something you love, which is you. Okay. You're dedicating time to work on you, to love on you here. And next number one saw that, saw that you, you know, you're getting, looking good. You may losing weight, going to the gym, doing whatever you need to do. You just really looking really great out here. And it is a threat because they don't want you to be with anyone else, but yet they got somebody in the bag. That don't make sense. <laughs> so they did everything possible. Mm -hmm, torch. Danger ahead, losses and failures. Be careful of others' intentions. Panic, disappointments in relationships and fears. And they did everything possible to break you guys apart to the point where some of you guys may have been in domestic violence situations because of X number one. <clears throat> X number one wanted you to feel the, 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 the brunt or more so the brutal force of hatred of wrath, but it wanted it to be within X number two. So kind of in a way, X number one was pulling the strings over X number two because X number two was the fucking puppet, to be honest with you. <clears throat> so they want to come back and they want to try to um, propose. I can't tell you what to do. I can just advise you as a spiritual advisor. And I, I honestly do not advise that it's a good idea. You need to stay away from all of them nasty, desolate niggas because if, F, if X number two is with you, then they should have listened to you. They should have trust you versus an ex number one. And they did not They did not do that. They went ahead and they took in good grace and good graces that ex number one was not lying and was actually telling the truth, which they were actually lying here. And ex number two is very upset about that <clears throat> because they fucked themselves out of something great. So they, they, they want to fight. <laughs> they want to fight. Yeah, message of concern. Oh my God, concern. They want to fight. They want to fight gift they're like i need to get back to this person and, and the collector already left <laughs> ain't no take backs 
Ain't no fucking take back. The collective been left. I just keep hearing when I see you, it's on site. Yeah. Friends will carry them, but they won't bring you back. I'm going to keep saying it till it sticks. <laughs> Now, X number one is completely embarrassed, not only by X number two, but actually the community as well, too. Because X number one still truly love you deep down inside. They will never tell you that that anyways, but they truly love you deep down inside. They just don't want others, other people to be with you because their end goal was for you, was for them to completely destroy and demolish everything, your whole foundation, so that you have no choice but to go back and grovel back to X number one. And that just didn't fucking happen. So because you didn't go back to them, they felt like it was okay. Okay to do this. <clears throat> there were also spell work involved too. Nasty niggas do spell work as well too. Not just women. Nasty niggas do spell work as well too. <clears throat> yeah, so we have the wedding ring. Suspicious need to compromise. Misunderstandings and arguments. Anxious about your relationship. Now, um, X number one was anxious about, about the X number two connection or relationship because they did not want to see you happy. And then X number two is suspicious and anxious around the connection because they realized that you were actually telling the truth since day one. And they're kicking themselves in the ass for listening to X number one. <clears throat> and they, they want blood. They want blood from X number one. They're willing to do, I'm telling you, X number two right now, the way that they're feeling about you, which is a little too late, honestly. Um, but they're like attempting to protect you. They sticking up for you. They don't do that. Don't talk about that. I mean, all that shit is late. So you just wasting, wasting your stank breath. You wasting energy. You just wasting time. X number two. So you just need to go on about your life. <clears throat> I'm telling you, ten of swords. Not only that. <clears throat> look, lovers. Oh my God, the two of cups. It was the lovers and two of cups was over a connection here. Um, not only that, they are experiencing some very catastrophic um some um karmas hitting hitting both X number one and X number two hard because they were coming together to do this here. So yeah. Not only that, the ten of swords, the death, and the three of swords. They're feeling it hard. They're feeling it. They can't get out of this karma. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Cups here. Yeah, it was unrequited. X number one was whispering to X number two ear that you ain't this, you ain't that, you ain't this, da da da, stuff like that, da, 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 whatever the case may be. And they wanted to ensure that you, well, why would you want to be with me? Why are you just here for my money and stuff like that? And no, you wasn't there for that person's money. You had your own money. I don't even feel like you asked this person for anything, to be honest with you. You always had your own. And. <clears throat> That bothered that person too. That bothered X number one and X number two because you're an independent individual. Take it how it resonates, okay? It could be for a feminine or for a master. Just take it where it resonates in your story. But they didn't like that you were super sufficient, that you didn't really need anyone. You truly don't need anyone when it comes to your finances and things like that. You can take care of your own. You can take care of yourself. But X number one did not want people to see that you can take care of yourself. They wanted you to see, they wanted people to see you as in a bad light, that you're a bad parent. <clears throat> you're a bad lover, bad friend, just everything bad. This is what they wanted for you. And they were sadly mistaken here. It, that's just not, that's not what you are. We have 10 of wands. <laughs> 10 of wands. They feel overworked, burdened. Their life is in shambles because they came together to do spell work together. <clears throat> It's like a, um, it's like a, um, I gotta be careful what I say. It's like a, uh, trying to put into words so I don't come off as, um, we got judgment and then the five of swords. It's like X number one already knew or scoped out X number two and already had this plan in motion to destroy the connection. I'll put it in that way. 
Five of Swords and Judgment is here. <laughs> yeah. So you freed yourself from the devil. Okay. You could be done with the Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. But you freed yourself from this bullshit here very quickly, might I add. They didn't think you were that smart to do it. They set up a, a ploy to where you're always going to need to have to grovel or go back because they want to be seen as the breadwinner in the connection here because they don't like that a woman, <clears throat> in this particular instance here, they don't like that a woman um, can do for themselves. They want to feel like the the head, the head honcho in the home, the patriarchy, and we all know that that's now falling apart here. Um, more, more and more women are not um, subscribing to that type of 1940s and 50s bullshit <clears throat> and is making these some of these masculines out here very unhinged because women won't listen so not only that spider they're sick okay i feel like x number two is sick with some form of cancer some kind of sepsis i'm hearing testicular cancer there's some form of cancer in x number two X number one has some form of a STD, <clears throat> incurable STD. They're both sick. You dodge a bullet twice. They're both sick. They're drinking, drinking a lot. Their house is falling apart. Both exes, they're losing their homes. And the reason why they're both losing their home is because of X number one. Because X number one is the one that initiated the candle work to begin with. And since X number two believed what X number one was saying, they're now part of the karma that X number one threw out to the universe. That's why I keep telling you. <laughs> See? It jumped out. <clears throat> Leaped out. Friends will carry, but they won't bring you back. <laughs> They won't bring you motherfucking back. No, they will not. So prepare for crying, groggling. You may hear love songs and shit. This person may be crying like a fucking cat underneath your window and shit. Please take me back. Can you marry me? No. No, 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 and no. No, 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 no. no. Learn to give people one shot with you, one chance. You get the big grand finale. You get one shot. You fucked it up. That's on you. Cut. That's it. See, ally is in reverse. They're struggling. They can't find work. They can't find a job. They lost their job. They're losing their home. Both of these exes are losing their home here. They're both sick with different types of ailments. There are many other ailments that are popping up. Spirit said, don't even worry about that, but you'll see it. <clears throat> I mean, you'll get wind of it. One of your exes may transition through, uh, you know, taking themselves out. High priestess knows or high priest. So you could be a high priest or a high priestess. They're burnt out. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're both burnt out here. But X number one is truly, truly feeling it more than X number two. Yeah, they're drinking. They're both drinking. X number one could be popping pills. They wanted to come together to bully you and they both failed. <laughs> Their pathway is closed. <laughs> pitiful. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. They are fake, rich, divine, masculine. They're not divine. All right. They're karmic, karma. They were doing things illegally. They, were, they didn't have any boundaries. They worked with your family as well, too. They have an incurable STD. They're very toxic here. They are afraid. They are afraid. They are actually in silence right now. They are shook like a motherfucker. They would have never thought <clears throat> that you would have caught them. So X number two is trying to come in impulsively for you to take them back. And they were a liar. They both are. Don't take nobody back. Fake emperor. <laughs> Don't take nobody back. They got daddy issues. So they may not have grew up with a father so they may have um they may have had an a absent father here so this is the reason or even an absent mother as well too because if they have issues surrounding a woman they have maternal issues um meaning they didn't give the nurture they didn't get the care they didn't get the love that they need as a young child um to kind of 
you know, uh, work around these issues when it comes to um, trying to control a, a woman and things like that. So they have a lot of mommy, they have a lot of both mommy and daddy issues. But the main thing is they want control over women and it's just not working, it's not happening. A lot of these men are falling <clears throat> because of that type of uh, agenda that they have. But it's not hidden anymore. That's the shocking message. They have some form of a mental illness here. They're on the down low. Okay. Cancer. Okay. So you may find out that one of your exes have cancer. They may try to come back towards you and tell you I have cancer. I mean, I, I can't tell you what to do, but I know for me, if I, what am I, any of my exes come back and tell me that bullshit, well, first of all, they can't get in contact with me because I'm not answering my phone. But if I was to hear that they got cancer, I'm like, well, what the fuck you want me to do? That, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't care about that. I'm just being honest, plain talk, bad fucking manners. What the fuck that got to do with me? <laughs> when you had the opportunity to be with the collective, you fucked it up. So anything that happens to you afterwards, that's on them. So... And they try to come back towards you with some kind of a, a sob story that they not feeling well, that they sick and stuff like that. Well, tell them to go to the hospital. Tell them to adopt a, a pet. Tell them to get a cat. Get a dog. Do something. But that ain't got nothing to do with you. <clears throat> they got nothing to do with you. They want to grow with you. They want to, but it's not going to happen. They may come in as very sweet. They may want to take you on a trip. I wouldn't go anywhere with this person, either one or two. Anybody from your past, I would not rock or fuck with. They in the past for a reason. Let them stay in the back and collect dust, okay? Um, they don't want you to know. Your intuition, they don't want you to use your intuition to know that you are completely spot on with everything here. They're very frustrated. They are unhappy. They don't have any money, but they see that you're moving forward here. And they're realizing that the person that they, they teamed up with to go against you here, they're realizing that they made a huge mistake. And I'm telling you, this person wants revenge. Like, this person wants supreme revenge. Like, if I can't have this person, I'm coming after X number one. Like, I'm so serious. Okay, we have guidance and we have sing. So I feel like X number two is reaching out to X number one. And X number one is not answering any calls whatsoever. They kind of dodged and blocked them. They're not answering any calls. And it's inf infuriating X number two. Because X number two is like, you fucking lie to me. Like, why would you lie to me in that kind of way? You know what I mean? And they, yeah, they, 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 they're stepping up. I can say that it's too late, but they're actually stepping up to try to, you know, try to fix the situation at hand. <laughs> now, after everything, now they want to protect you. It's a little too late there, you nasty nigga, you It's a little too late for that, boo. A little too late for that. A little too late for that. <laughs> so we have bliss in reverse. This person, or both of them, they're not happy. Okay? Um, X number one does not want you to be with anyone else. I love you at all. They want you to be in this defeated state of I can't because this is in reverse. So even though it says I can, it's in reverse and they want you to be they want you to be in a position where you can't like fulfill or you can't do anything on your own because they just can't see how is it a woman could be so successful without a man. I don't understand what the fuck is the problem. What's the problem? Yeah, pay attention. They're going to be coming towards you trying to. uh trying to fix it or salvage it salvage it i saw i saw many rings in the dream state last night and i just chuckled and i laughed and i was like who that for who that for you know that song who that for who that for i'm like mm -mm. they're having a conversation with their mother okay x number two is having a conversation about their mother uh, with their mother in regards to you you know what to expect but they're expecting you to come home they're expecting you to they're expecting you to see them as an official person, but they're not official. They're not. Dang, it's funny how I flipped that and it came right out like that. They want you to be, they want you to see them as official, but they're not official. They're not official at all. <laughs> man, ain't that something? Huh. That's some crazy shit, man. <laughs> Um, X number one also paid X number two as well, too, to sabotage you. And they are regretting that. They are truly regretting that. They wish they never did that. <clears throat> Damn. Positivity is in reverse. This is a, a Leo here. Okay, protection is in reverse. They have no protection. 
ex number two is seeing red, bruh. They want to communicate with you so bad. They want to tell you everything, but you already know what's up. So you don't need to have a conversation or anything like that, to be honest. Pisces, you can be dealing with a Pisces. Pisces is a water sign. <clears throat> and one of the top water signs, it rules the 12th house. And the 12th house is where your hidden enemies are. Um, and if you're a Pisces, you could be highly intuitive. It just depends on where your placements and your transits and things of, of that nature is within your chart here. But Pisces is one of a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, water signs are intuitive. But um, now that, and also Pisces is like, can be disillusioned. So you were disillusioned or you were lucky to see what they were trying to hide from you here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn. This is the second Capricorn card that came out here and they were doing things relentless here to relentlessly here. So you could be dealing with the Leo to disrupt your um, tranquility. So, so far we got Leo, we got Capricorn and we got Pisces so far. All this could be playing out in, in um, Leo season, which is the last day. Today's the last day of Leo season. Tomorrow we go into Virgo. Yes. Tomorrow we go into Virgo season. Yes, yes, yes. But they they both are looking for some kind of hope here to get back to you because they both don't want to see you with anyone else. And I mean, I don't know what to tell that man or sorry to that man. I don't know that man. You, you you can't be out here fumbling greatness and then when the greatness up and walk away you upset because you can't get it back that ain't got nothing to do with the collective collective you just continue to, to stay great boo <laughs> um we have tradition and order which is in reverse they wanted to traditionally put you in order or control you and because they did that they lost they took a big risk and they fucking lost. Cause you are not you're not anything to control. You want to control? Get a motherfucking PlayStation. Get an Xbox. Get a computer. Uh, 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 a computer to to control you, or you can hit Control Alt Delete if you like too. If you want to control something, you can click them them tabs on your computer. If you feel like you want to control something, but you in no way, shape, or form, or you are in no way, shape, or form are going to control a human being and especially a woman. Gotta spot that. Up. Somebody's eating rice aroni. Somebody's going to San Francisco, or you could be from San Francisco. I'm hearing the San Francisco tree, and I think that's rice aroni, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody's watching Full House. Somebody's watching um, Who's the Boss with T Tony Danza, or Tony Danza could be your favorite actor. I'm also hearing Paula Abdul. Somebody really loves Paula Abdul. You love the way she danced or her choreography. I'm also hearing the Fly Girls with, um, with uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez. It's, so it's just rambling out. So as soon as it comes in, I'm just, okay. Somebody wants oatmeal, but maybe you don't like the consistency of it. Okay. I don't, I don't have any options for you with that. I don't like oatmeal. So I, 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 don't, I don't know. I can't tell you nothing about that. But I just see someone trying oatmeal and they didn't like the consistency. All right, I ain't got no advice. I'm sorry, no dice. <laughs> Somebody is, is, is taking in a lot of salt. So you may love uh, salted chips or salt and vinegar chips. You got to be careful with that, okay? Somebody eats that daily to the point where your, the, like, your lips are like getting like cracking or peeling. Yeah, that's the issue. You got to eat in, in uh, moderation. <laughs> Somebody needs windshield wiper fluid for their car. You're going to get it for free. <laughs> Say thank you. <laughs> Somebody from Far Rock, Far Rock away. What up, Queens? Somebody from Far Rock away. Um, mm, 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 mm. somebody's breaking out in hives or they're breaking out in regards to um so we got hives someone's breaking out in hives um it could have been five or more people involved in this there's a song called all fall down by i think it's called the all stars or something like that let me see all fall down all fall down uh who's the name of it 
Five star, that's it. I fall down. Yeah, so somebody, when you speak, so this could be like a, a hood term. I feel like this up this up north, right? Like the Philly, Del, uh, not Delaware, more like New York part. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I think New York speak like that. Yeah. They be like, yeah. But I know Philly speak like that, too. We say, yeah. <laughs> we be like, yeah. <laughs> um, somebody is yakking out their lungs. Someone is sick to their stomach. They're throwing up over this. All right. Somebody wants a hero sandwich or you're making a hero sandwich. We call it hoagies back in Philly. But this is definitely New York. So someone is actually watching from New York. What up, New York? Um, New York always rock hard with me, telling you. Um, somebody loves her, the actual music called her, or the musician called her. Someone is spitting out a lot of venom, V-E-N-O-M. I don't have the N, but V-E-N-O-M, venom. Somebody loves velour suits, okay? Someone wants to balance out their key or their chi, their their um the energy. So I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but somebody wants to like balance out their chi. Okay, if you know, you know. Um <clears throat> somebody is about to let me see. E -e 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 -e. Row. Somebody likes row. I think that's right. Isn't that from like the crabs, like the eggs or something like that, or from the fish, fish row or crab row? I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. And if I'm not, please correct me. But somebody likes the innards of a crab or like the fish, the caviar. And I think it's, I think it's row. But if it's not, let me know, please. But I, I, I think it is. Someone needs to be very careful of their homes. Going to catch on fire. Be very careful of your appliances. Okay, you may have faulty wires and appliances here. Somebody got fired from, them, for, from their job for having sex at their job. Yeah, somebody loves Marcus Houston. Marcus Houston, somebody loves H&M. Okay, somebody like Homer. Homer Simpson from The Simpsons. We have Venus and Aquarius in the eighth house. <laughs> We got Uranus, uh, Libra, and 11th house. We have Aquarius. We have 6th house and Uranus. I'm hearing Libra. So there's definitely a Trini that's watching because we say Libra as Libra, but Libra. So there's a Trini that's watching. All right, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a set Capricorn, set Leo. A Sag, I'll do two more. A Pisces and a Libra. Okay? So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time. <laughs>